magic. Can I get a Hoya? Seven months equals carrot underscore carrot equals. Wait, 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 mm, there we go. I should like make like a hotkey that does that automatically. Hello, hold on. <coughs> Hello guys. Hello, the music has died. Hello music. Hola music, there we go. Hi. <laughs> Doodle me returns. 
Um, Prince Flair and Meow Mick, thank you guys for the resubs. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Hello, 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 Bleach. I'm sorry your head hurts. You should probably attempt to drink that water, maybe, perhaps. Um, hello, Dev. Hello, Gamma. Now I'm adjusting myself. Oh, my chicken head. I got my chicken, my chicken wings. Chicken wings. You seem to have lost color. Yeah, just a little bit. We're we're uh, we're field notes today. There we go. There we go. You should. Music is loud. Oh my gosh. That better. That should be better. There we go. There we go. Let's get rid of the chicken, chicken legs, chicken legs. So, hello, hello. How is everybody? Hello. <laughs> I'm a little tired, so please forgive. I'm sure once I start talking, I will I will forget that I'm tired. But so I have I have some things for you guys. I did a little bit of uh, stream enhancements. Okay, now I want you guys to use this respectfully. All right, because I know there's a couple of you that like to be uh, silly little guys, right? But I did give Commissar a pair of cleats, and he does have the ability. <laughs> He does have the ability to, to use them, so the cleats will, will come out. Um, if you see, if you look directly above my head, there is something that has exclamation points and commands. Um, so for these streams starting meow, if you have an idea that you would like to share with me, um, or if you have a question that you do not want getting lost in chat, you can use the command exclamation point idea and then type it into chat and it will show up above my head and I'll keep it track of it. Now I will say, um, it's technically a task list. I kind of retrofitted a task list. So, um, it only lets you do one at a time. If you have another idea, if you have another question, you can do exclamation point done, and then it won't erase it. It'll just strike it out, but then you will have the ability to put a uh, another one up. And then you'll have to keep keep doing that. But um, that way it's easier for me, and you guys can chat, and we keep everything kind of nice and neat and organized. So I will just do just an example. Um, idea. Everyone in the coils is well hydrated. Boom. See, now it shows up above my head. I'm also sobbing. And then if I'm done with it, if if we've assessed that or I want to make a new one, I do exclamation point done. Boom. So, I will delete it now. Because, um, there is, you can do a exclamation point help. Idea help. For a list of commands. Um, but like I said, they're they're all at the top, so you know it'll cycle through them. So, yeah, yeah. Um, if you post something up that you didn't mean to, you can just do exclamation point delete, and it will delete it for you. And then the bot gives you a pat on the back. So. That way you don't have to worry about like chat and then you guys can kind of keep an eye on that. If someone else already posted up an idea, you don't have to worry about posting it up too. No, done just strikes it out. You gotta, yeah. Cause I don't want, I don't want to delete good ideas just cause people want to post other ones. So um, you just do exclamation point delete and it should delete it. We are not using the full metal alchemist magic system. <laughs> Well, no, don't only delete them. Please only delete them if it's like a meme, like I'm seeing a bunch pop up. Um, if it, leave your ideas up because this is going to be my list for when I have to go back through the stream and look at stuff. So this is so please don't delete them if they're like legitimate ideas. So, yeah, there we go. Magic idea. People use their Twitch Prime on V and it magically puts a smile on her face. 
<laughs> Thank you, small. Hello. I don't know why Kami's delete did not work. I think he used the wrong delete. I think he has to do admin delete. But he does have the cleats. Don't worry. I gave I gave him the cleats. Um, on that note, I can still draw. Let's see. I can still draw, right? All right. I can still draw and stuff. So you guys, I can circle things. Can make notes. AD admin dysfunction. So I uh, with uh oh. We voted to take his legs. Yeah, I didn't take him yet though. I had to strap them on for him though because he doesn't have arms. So I'll do a quick rundown of what the hell <laughs> what I'm talking about for those who are new to the stream or, or new to this kind of these kinds of streams. Um, basically what we are doing here is, uh, myself and my community are, um, getting together and we are world building. Um, it's a world that I plan on making a comic for in the future. Um, so basically what happens is I will give like the basis of something or the basics and then we'll kind of work together to brainstorm like new ideas that can be incorporated into that world. And then if you do in my Discord, there's a whole section about it and people are like, um, they're submitting monsters and companies and weapons and stuff. And it's all, it's all very cool. So, um, that being said, the world that we are building is called Elysium Skiff is the name of the comic. Um, and basically what we have here is people, um, live in a world where these things called coils exist and they're sort of like a dungeon and people can go into these coils and they can farm monsters and metals for materials is the easiest way to describe that one day I will get together a video that I can just play the beginning of these and it'll cover everything and it won't be confusing at all so does anyone have any questions about that before I just start lore dumping? Because I might start lore dumping. I don't want to, like, I don't want to kill Dozer or anybody. Coils are, yeah, they're kind of like waspists, except for they can't leave. The monsters can't really leave the coil. And what is the cost of magic? Oh, good, we'll cover that. Okay. So, without further ado... We have the mana is stored. It's the mana is stored in the balls. Um, Elysium skips the magic system. Finally explained. Sort of subject to change on my whim at the drop of a hat. To be honest, so <laughs> just so you are all very much aware, um, it's all pretty much locked in though. I would say so. Like if anything changes, it's probably going to be minor. So it's it's this is pretty much what it's going to be. So without further ado. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Nope. Wait. Why is it out of order? Why is it out of order? My thing. Hold on. My slideshow, no! What am I gonna do? I go away from my file explorer. Where did I save it now? What happened? Why is it not playing it in order? It is in order! It's, it's OBS. Unless I messed up the hotkeys. Okay. It's playing 9 and 10 first. I have no idea why. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? <laughs> Why? I don't even... Okay, next slide with B3. Okay. 
Why is it? This should be the next. This is slide two. Why it's starting with slide nine? I have no idea. Okay, I don't know. This is now it seems to be in the right order. Magic system today. Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right. I named. I named. I named the stones. They have their own names. So as a whole, as like a whole, a whole, whole, whole. They're just gonna be called stones. Oops. Okay. I know. I know. We will survive that. Okay. Get get rid of this. Get rid. Of, go away. So they are just called. They're just gonna be called stones. But each each individual stone has their own has their own name. So um, we have fail. <laughs> Let me see if I can remember how to say these. Fail it. I can't see my thing on the screen, so bear with me. Um, Etherix. Etherix. Vapor Silk Amethyst. We also have um, Gold Blaze Quartz. Solarite. And Red... Rad... Rad... I know how to say this. Radiant... Radi... 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 Amber. <laughs> Radi... Amber. I can bear with you. Bring out overhead projecting the clear sheets with the market. That's exactly what's all set up for this. So, um, I remember, remember in the past when we were talking about how like, um, like stones would go from like high, uh, low strength to high strength. We're, we're scrapping that. <laughs> They're not necessarily stronger than each other. Um, each stone does something, does something different based on a combination of other stones with it and, um, the metals used with it. So that's the, I will, um, I will also update the discord probably maybe tomorrow, um, or the day after. Um, I will update the, the, like, FAQ sheet thing I got going on on the Discord so you guys can, can find this. So, yes, big science. So, um, I'm trying to think of, like, I don't know. There's not a lot with these ones right now. It's just, that's the name. The stones are named now. So you guys can take a deep breath. All right, so next one. Nope. There we go. This one is a new one. Why can I not see my thing? There, it's a new one. This is called Spectralite. And basically this um, can act as a dampener or, yeah, I think just like a dampener for the other stones. So like, let's say you have a bunch of stones installed and they do a bunch of crazy shit, but like if you do the crazy shit, it could like blow your body up, right? So you would install a spectrolite stone to dampen the other stones. Kind of like a, what's it called? A governor on the, on a engine. Stops you from blowing up, which is a good thing. We, we like not blowing up, right? So yeah, new stone just dropped. What up chat? New stone just dropped a buffer. Yeah. But you can, you can, if you remove this, you can have. You can go even further beyond. All right. Is that the right one now? Yes. Okay. I think we're in order now. Okay. So where do stones come from? Stones are, um, I <laughs> can't see my thing. Come from the bones of monsters that are killed. Um, if you look close. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> I did not know that would make that shape. But now I cannot unsee the shape. No, they're not. They're not fossils. Basically, like, if you kill a monster, like, let's let's say you fight Deborah, right? The Diabora. It is a PowerPoint PP. Uh, but let's say you fight the Diabora and you kill the Diabora and you skin it and um, debone the Diabora. 
that the the stones let me find my cursor the stone if you look at the the bones on the diabora they would have like fissures rivers like fissure type situations with stone material in the bones Are the stones better from a freshly killed monster, or do old bones work just as well? That is a good question. Um, I, I would say it's about the same. I feel like you'd be very hard pressed to find old bones, but yeah, I'd say I'd say if you did it, I think it'd be about the same. So like, if you found if you found a bunch of old bones laying around that still had stuff intact. That would be it. that would be a good find. Kind of like magic bone marrow, yeah. Closer to magic bone marrow than magic kidney stones, but it's in the actual bone. So the more potent the stones. That's true. No, that makes sense, right? Because I said the older the monster, the stronger the stones. So yeah, I guess if you found old bones, the stones would be stronger, maybe. Perhaps. That's something to explore. <laughs> Yeah, so basically you would have to take the bones out, take them back, and have them processed so that you could make the bone bits go away and just keep the stone bits and then have the stone bits processed into something you could install into something. Right? Well, so the age of the monster determines a stone. So I would think in my brain, which I guess technically is the one that matters, um, it would have the longer it's alive would make it stronger, not necessarily Hurry. the longer it Hurry. exists. Hurry. Wow, Hurry. thank Hurry. you for the raid. Hello, raiders. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, my name is V. Uh, I'm a Valkyrie VTuber. I do a lot of arts and games, and right now we're doing world building. Uh, we're world building for... Um, a comic I'm going to be making in the future, but it's a lot of community added world building. So we're going over the magic system right now. So thank you so much for the raid and giving me your, your community and trusting me with them. Dr. Fexus, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. How is your stream? And if you are, if you are, um, you know, tired or got to eat or whatever you got to do after your stream, please, please don't hang out on my account. Please take care of yourself. There's some urgent aftercare. Okay, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. All right. Yes, so welcome raiders. You came at the beginning of the slideshow. You missed all the scuff in the beginning, so you're very lucky. <laughs> there will be more scuff. There will be much more scuff. So, yeah, so I would think the monster, the longer the monster's alive would make the stones in its bones stronger yeah no okay yeah so now that you've put it that way taylor i would think um it have to be alive so you can't just take a bone out and then hold the stone and have the stone get stronger so the longer the monster's alive not just existence she drew a powerpoint pp yeah that yeah that was an accident so that is where the stones come from so age age of aliveness not age Total. <laughs> oh, now we're going that way. What about ancient dragon bones? So, ah, uh, ain't there wouldn't be an ancient dragon? I don't necessarily think it's it's um it's not full high fantasy. So there's not a lot of the standard like there's no goblins or or like dragons or elves or anything in the story. All right. So I also. Hello, Almina. I named the metal, the magic metal, magic metal, the magic metal. This is the best world. Can we have spider people? At least we can have like spiders. Um, I named it Ether Tongue, Ether Tongue. Uh, and it can change. So we talked about this a little bit last stream. Um, it's, it's, 
a metal that exists in the coils and it's not an earthly metal. I hesitate to say earthly because it's not like earth per se, but like earth in like flora and fauna and type like natural habitat. But it's not the planet earth. Um, but so it changes matter based on what is touching it. And what matters is the amount of pressure exerted against it. So for example, it's leaching slowly out into the air of the coil because there is atmospheric pressure going on from the air. So it's slowly being turned into a gas by the slight pressure from the air. But if you blast it with a jet of water, then it would turn into a liquid because not only is it touching a liquid, but it is getting hit with high pressure from the liquid. So that is how it changed states of matter. So if you had like a pool of it, right, just chilling, and you hit it with a hammer, it would turn solid. Does that make sense? So is it that the monsters produce the stones just by themselves, or is it something like heavy metal poisoning where it accumulates in their bones over time because something they eat, drink, breathe in the coils? No, it, it's a part of their like physiology. It's something they make themselves. So it's not like an after, aftermarket. It's not like an effect that happens to them. Like if they were outside the coils, they wouldn't have it. It's something that is like part of their physiology. I haven't figured out um, what stones go in what monsters or how that works. Um, I don't know if I ever will because I don't know if it necessarily matters. Any, any kind of have you know you know what i mean there's just sometimes there's just some things that don't really matter necessarily like i don't want to make a system of what what monster gets what rock it's not pokemon you know what i mean Um, okay, let's see. Uh, ether tongue is toxic to humans, so that's why everyone needs to wear some form of, like, gas mask or filtration system when they get into the coil because it is slowly leaching out into the air. And, as we all know, because when it touches something wet, it slowly turns into liquid, so over time it will encase your eyes and your nose and your mouth and your throat and your lungs in metal. So... That's bad. <laughs> Which is why you need PPE, right? Um, to, yeah, right? Yeah. Don't lick it. Don't lick it, guys. Do not, do not lick the ether tongue. Yay, Han Solo. What if I want my lungs to be part metal? I think then you would just die at that point. Don't lick it. Bleach, don't do it. Do not lick it. Do nay. Um, and it needs to be like smelted or processed with non-ferrous metals. And ferrous in this sense does not mean ma um, magnetic. Um, I was said metallic. Um, it's not. It doesn't mean magnetic. It means magical. So I'm I'm reusing a word for a different thing, <laughs> just to confuse you. Um, so it needs to be mixed with different metals and that causes it to do different things. Uh, oh yeah. Changing word beings. Yes. Suffer. Um, yeah. I'm saying um so many times now. I know Robo will explode. He can, he'll, he will survive. He will be okay. I believe in him. He can adapt and overcome. He's got this. <laughs> It's a fantasy land. I can do what I want. I don't have to follow physics, right? He's gonna shit himself. Robo's not even here to defend himself. This is so unfair. So yes, um, it must be combined with non-magical metals to not only stabilize it, but also it helps it do different things in combination with the different stones. Unless it also erodes his poop pipes. We don't want his poop pipes to rapture. 
All right, so let's see here. Nope, that's the wrong button again. I have them strategically placed so that I know which direction it goes and I mess it up every single time. All right, where's magic metal come from? Ether tongue is mined from the walls of the coil. You have to go into the caves of the coil and find it in the stone rock walls and dig it out. Um, it can be mined like your standard mining equipment. So you can still use like a pickaxe and hammers, but because it it like hardens when during high pressure, it gets harder and harder to knock it out of the rock. You have to like chip it out of the rock, right? You have to break the rock, not the metal. However, the easiest way to do it is to hit it with a high pressure jet of water. What if big hammer? I mean, you could big hammer do hit. Could happen. Could be. Um, hitting it with a pressurized jet of water causes it to liquefy, in which case you can just suck it up. Pump it out. Suck it up. <laughs> Pump it out. So it's um, a lot of the high-end mining companies prefer to use uh, the water jets as opposed to um, as opposed to like pickaxes because it's faster and you can move things out quickly. So like, help me understand the setting. Is it like steampunk or fantasy or like what? I have a hard time understanding the difference between high and low fantasy. The it doesn't fit into a genre, and I have a hard time answering that question. The best thing I can say is arcane punk. Um, there's it's low fantasy in the fact that it's not a real world, right? Like we don't have to follow real world. It's not a I don't know. I don't want to say nonfiction. That's not right. But like it, it's not. It's still fantasy, but there's no elves. There's no dragons. It's not your standard, like, medieval D&D campaign, right? It's it's people with magic abilities, and the monsters are different. But you're not going to go, like, walking out and seeing an elf. There is Big Snick. But exposure to the ether tongue infused water have a negative effect? Would refinery workers need heavy waterproof gear? Yeah, actually, that's a really good question. Um, so yes, it would affect you. Like I said, it it can combine with um, soft, uh, what's the word? Mucous membranes. So because it's wet and like, it, let, like, let's say you splash it in your eye, right? Then that metal is now in your eye. You know, and you can rinse it and stuff, but eventually that will build up and that will eventually cause blindness. It's kind of like if you had heavy metal poisoning. Sort of like that. Um, so yeah, you would want protective gear, especially with something like, you know, using the water jets because that's going to be splashing around. So you would definitely want to have like full head to toe covering. That was when you'd have like the big leather diving suits or whatever, you know, to make sure it doesn't get on you anywhere. Because if it gets on your hands, you like rub your eye, you know, then it's in your eye sort of deal so yeah the people that and then the people that are vacuuming it out would probably have protective gear too now that being said there is a significant uh it's sort of like a caste system in a way it is um there's people that have lots and lots of money that have a really good life they have a lot of ppe they're they have work life balance and then there's people and their lives are basically like early industrial revolution where like they're working you know, 17 hour days and eating bread that's mixed with chalk and sawdust. The long term side effects of expo high exposure with low protection. Um, the first, the first thing that happens is you would go blind. Um, magic, the 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 magic metal blindness is actually super duper common in the Stragon district down below, where the poor people are. Um, it's one of those things where, like, if you work in a factory, you know you're going to get it. It's just a matter of when. Um, and then after that, it's the, it's a lot of lung issues, a lot of coughing, a lot of wheezing, asthma type things, and then eventually you just die. Death becomes you. So life expensively up top, 80 years old, down below, 50 or 60 and blind. Um, Probably more like 40 would be considered old down below. Or 
Rubber canvas or oil skin ge gear? What's the best aesthetic for the setting? Um, probably a, that's a good question. It's either canvas or oil skin gear. The, if I had to like give you guys a time period in earthly years, <laughs> which this parts of the setting would take place. It would be the 1500s, late 1500s, I believe. Um, however, some of the tech they have above is like 1950s appliances. And that is because the Droke de Mech, which is what people make out of the stones and the metal, um, has drastically uh, increased the quality of life up above. I mean, we got land next. Yes, you do. And arquebuses. You do. Big floppy hats for everyone. Let's go. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Arquebus, arquebusy. Guys, there's arquebuses for everyone. So yeah, that's I believe that is that. If you, and if I am past the slide and you have a question that pops in your head, please feel free to ask it. Oh lord, my canary team gonna be all poofy. It can be poofy. Okay, guys, we're on to the people that use the magic. So there's two different types of people that use the magic. There's the people that use the magic in their bodies, and they're like would be the closest thing to a mage in this setting, right? And then you have the people that use, like, magical items, but they're normal people that don't have really anything weird going on with them, okay? Bring back slash sleeves and pants with beautiful colors. Let's go. Don't use Arcapussy, you'll lose your lower half. No. So... These are the people that have it like in their bodies. There's the closest thing to a mage you can get, okay? So we have guardians, strikers, and conduits. We're gonna start with guardians. Guardians tend to be mostly females. Um, with the the with the strikers and the guardians, we've talked about this a little bit before. Um females tend to lend themselves towards uh, the guardian role a lot easier than the striker role and vice versa for males. Now, that being said, there are some women that can be strikers and there's some men that can be guardians. Technically speaking, anyone can be either, but the quality of the work you do and the quality of the uh, magic you produce uh, suffers. It, it takes a strong will and a uh, strong determination to kind of circumvent that um not tradition but you know that 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 rule quote unquote curtains wear skimpy outfits draws or no no guardians do not wear skimpy outfits they're they're fighting monsters they're wearing armor um so guardians are able to uh project magical shields that can stop physical attacks um every guardian can project at least one shield. Some very high skilled guardians can project two and then sometimes more. Um, but that's like upper echelon of guardians. Well, let's cover some more surface area to protect, project guardian shields. <laughs> no bikini armor. This is pro mark. No, so I found this magic, sh this magic circle generator, right? Like real talk for a minute, and I kept generating magic circles, and it was always like that one, that like big one, the human transmutation one from Full Metal Alchemist. It was always like that with like a, something slightly changed. I'm like, give me something different. I swear to God, it might be the shields from Strike Witches. I have no idea. I've never watched Strike Witches. But yes, so I just wanted you guys to have a picture of a magical circle so you guys knew what a magical circle looked like. <laughs> um, guardians can push and pull their shields, but only like directly in front of them or directly towards them. You can't like push it sideways. You can't push it at an angle. 
Um, you can nip, you can make them appear up, down, left, right, front, back. Um, and you can uh, like make one appear on the ground under your feet and then pull up and like essentially create yourself an elevator, right? Well, I've only seen one magical circle ever. Um, and then the distance or the amount that they can push or pull kind of depends on their skill level and how strong they are as a guardian. Guardians have the rotation ability of a gas station sunglass rack. Yes, exactly. Only, only certain ways. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else they can or cannot do. Um, sounds dope, right? It's dope. It's pretty dope. And then I think that's pretty much it, unless anyone's got any questions for them. I don't. I couldn't. I was trying to find a picture of what these guys looked like. Multiclass an option. Multiclass is not an option. No. Yeah. So they're they're. Oh my gosh! Hold on a second. I gotta mute my mic. There we go. My mic arm was like falling. I was trying to catch it and then I'm like slapping the mic around. <laughs> the magic users here change their stones alone or together. So basically when you get your stones like implanted, those are your stones you get. Um, and we'll cover that in the next couple slides. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving a business presentation. I hate it. Um, but yeah, pretty much what you get is what you get. There, There's some situation, like you can change them a little bit, but the stuff that's like physically implanted in your body is once that's there, that's there. So you're pretty much like you pick, you pick your class, you pick your plan, you have your plan, you you lock in. Charge. Oh, it looked like an N. I'm so sorry, Buddha. Nonetheless, what I said still stands. Um. So we will. Do I cover that? I wrote a thing for that, right? I did. I thought I did. Did I cover that? Oh, of course not. My computer's going to be slow because I'm running 600 things. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll cover that in a later slide. <laughs> All right. Then they have to bring the stones back to the girls. No, 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 no. We'll cover that. We'll cover that. We'll cover that. We'll cover it. Calm down. Calm down, Bleach. Calm down. Be calm. Cool yourself. Okay. So, like Guardian Strikers are normally one gender, one sex, whatever you want to call it. Whatever makes you happy. Um, but, like I said, some females can be strikers. It just kind of depends on their their mental fortitude and their strength of will and all that jazz. Um, strikers can project a melee weapon. Grinding knight need for speed. My god. Hello, Neon. I remember last year. Oh my god, this has been a year in the making. Oh my god. <laughs> the type of magic user is like your... Patronus from Harry Potter. A little bit, yeah. Hello, Grunkle Dan. Um, so it kind of it it's it takes the form of your soul, quote unquote. So like people who tend to be more like boisterous and aggressive might get like a big hammer and like someone who's more like detail oriented and, and kind of like on the uh I'm struggling with work. <laughs> I'm struggling with words today. You know, like, they might get, like, you know, they're more precise. They might get, like, a rapier or something. And, like, you can't pick your weapon. It's just whatever appears. So, rapier, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I appreciate the effort, though. Yeah, I was definitely struggling there. Um, yeah, so, you know, it just, so you don't get to pick your weapon, it appears, it's the same thing every single time, right? Yeah, no unlimited blade works. 
We can't do Fate Stay Night here. My brain cannot handle that. And you can and uh, strikers can only project one weapon at a time. Um, the um, the strikers' weapons can break the guardian's shields. Um, it's not an instant break. It's not like an instant kill type thing. Hey V, pleasure to meet you. Saw you on Twitter through the grapevine. Had to pop by to show your support for Violet. Oh well, awesome! I'm glad you're here. This I have to start with a not. <laughs> no, it does not need to start out like that. This is not the bone of my sword. It's not the bone of your sword. No. Yeah, so they can only protect one weapon at a time. Um, they can break a guardian shield, but it's not like an absolute. Um, again, there's like a strength level requirement there for that sort of situation i don't want to look through the type moon wiki i don't want to you get a pen fuck the pen is mightier than the sword please fight deborah with a pen deborah is gonna have to be the mascot i think at this point i want to redraw deborah a little bit just to get like a little bit more detail in in deborah but i definitely feel like deborah's got to be the mascot <laughs> We all love Debra. Oh my god, I think I want a Debra plushie before I want a V plushie. I think that's what I want in my life. Debra's the best boy. Probably cannot say as I had to head to bed, but it's nice meeting you. Well, thank you so much for copying and saying hi. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good sleep. Can we get an office lady, Debra? You want to put a snake man in a skirt? What is wrong with you, Buddha? Now that is some brain rot. Alright. What? Okay. Why is this in the middle? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's because it's one, right? And then they go... 10, 11, 12. Oh my god, that's the stupidest thing ever. Okay, anyway. I figured out. Snakes would work best in the legal department. It's true. I can see it. So, um, you guys might be going, where are the slingers? You guys, V, you guys, you always talk about the slingers. Where are the slingers? The slingers are gone. They don't exist anymore. They're gone. They're gone forever. We we have replaced the slinger. <laughs> They're now called conduits. Um, because they do something a little bit different. They still sling. But um, they have a little bit more to them. So to become a conduit. No slingers now. Um, to become a conduit. You have to have. <laughs> Droke de mech installed. Right. And then your body has to reject it. Because not anybody can get Droke de mech installed. They have to. Your body has to accept it. Like, like, let's say you get a heart transplant and your body goes, I don't like this heart here. It's sort of that situation. Well, Lord Change is more jarring than a certain miniature. Don't you dare say that. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> Rude. Rude, sir. I don't have 30 years of Lord to, to retcon here. Okay, 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 okay. Every heart transplant. Yeah, but some do it worse than others, right? So basically, you try to get your joke to Mac installed, right? And your body just doesn't re doesn't doesn't like it. It rejects it. You're you're on deathbed, verge of dying. You got to get the stuff taken out because you're getting really really sick and and you're not you're not doing hot, too hot, right? So they take it out. Well, guess what? You're a conduit now. <laughs> now. Um, having, it's not the process of having your joke to make and then having remove it that turns it into a conduit. Some people are just, um, more sensitive to the materials of the coil, which is why their body rejects it. So, like, let's say a normal person's joke to make is, like, 50, 75% ether tongue and, like, 25% copper. I'm just throwing metals out there. These aren't lore specific. Can I only hear Joker mech? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, okay, yeah. 
So let's say you're like a normal person's stroke to max that has a successful install, right? It is 75% ether tongue, 25% copper, whatever. Oh, well you can you can enjoy your joker mech, that's fine. Um but if you are sensitive to those materials, then your body can react to the ether tongue the same way that it would as if you took like 100% ether tongue and stuck it in somebody's body, right? So, um eventually if you like water down the ether tongue too much, it won't be effective as drogtomec anymore, so then they just it, your body just straight up rejects it, right? Like it just won't accept that it's got to be in your body like that. <laughs> so, um, those people that are more sensitive to the the materials of the coils, they are considered conduits, and they have the ability to take energy from stones and put them into ether tongue. Um, so they can take energy from a stone and put it in like an arrow, for example, and then shoot it at someone or a monster so that it will break a magical shield or it will do extra damage to a monster, right? Okay. And then they can also, which is, I think the cooler part is they can take energy from um, a magic user from a canary and they can put it into a stone. So let's say you're a canary or, you know, whoever you have drove to mech installed and you're deciding to go on a rampage and you're like, I don't care anymore. I'm going to blow up this bakery. And then the police come and they're like, stop blowing up the bakery. And I'm like, make me, I got magical shields. Well, they're like, okay, we're going to send out the conduit and the conduit touches you somehow, you know, 21 feet. And then they they suck the energy out of you and now you can no longer use your magic. And now you're just a normal person. But not only are you a normal person, you're a tired normal person, which means the police can beat you up and arrest you. Right? Is that neat? I think that's like the neatest thing ever. If you water it down too much, does ether tongue become ether licked? Ha. So, um, conduits went from being like silly slingers that just couldn't use joke to mech to like being actually like really fucking important. So, I'm pretty excited about this lore change personally. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it, not gonna lie. But, moving on. So, um, for those who aren't sure, what materials can water down ether tongue? Drywall powder, cornmeal? It would be other metals, so, um, tin, steel, iron, copper, gold. <laughs> Not cornmeal. Why arsenic? That seems weirdly specific. Why arsenic? Ah, okay. I had to drink guava. Lots of talking today. Um, so like I said, so guardians and strikers are like they're they're both their own set, but then like they're separate from the. Made you say ours, my god. Um, but they're separate from the conduit. Um, for those who don't know, the canaries are mercenaries that are hired to go into the coils. So you can. All can most canaries have drogue to mech, but just because you have drogue to mech doesn't mean you're a canary, if that makes sense. It's easier to call them all canaries than magic users, but they're not necessarily all canaries. If that makes sense. I, I, I would, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, most, most mercenaries that go into the coils to fight monsters have joked mech because it helps you not die, right? So earlier people were asking, anyone can drive forklift, not everyone can be certified. Exactly. 
part of the spine are the stones implanted near up near the neck mid back or the tailbone so all the way down um the position of the stone and what kind of stone it is and where it goes matters um i don't have like a, a graph or anything like that i don't think i'm gonna flesh that out too much like going like oh the red stone if it goes in the left quadrant near your tailbone it increases your leg power i don't think i'm gonna go into that much detail um because at the end of the day i don't think that necessarily has a huge matter if that makes sense like it does but it doesn't stones go on the bones yes thank you <laughs> Um, if I do flesh it out, it'll kind of be like in the future because that's such a, a small detail thing and I have so many massively larger things I have to work out yet. So, right, until it becomes plot relevant. See, Commissar knows what's up. <laughs> he understands. Okay, so the magic stones connect to the neck bone. Yeah, so they go all the way down. Um, joke to mech users also have a wrist cuff. And that is normally where the um, there's additional stones that can augment their abilities there. And that's where the spectral light is also tends to sit. Um, the, the stones on the wrist are still connected inside the body. But they're... How do I say this? Because they have to be connected to a blood supply, right? Um, so they're still attached, but they're a little, like, if you wanted to go get something changed, you wouldn't have your spine cut open again, but you could have it augmented a bit on your wrist, if that makes sense. Um, it can also do some other things that I will address later, like, um, like ID and things like that. Um, and, and that's, what about, what about someone with scoliosis? Any special... Someone with scoliosis wouldn't get droked to mech, I don't think, because normally you would have that installed to fight monsters. I'm not sure how many people with scoliosis would want to go fighting monsters. <laughs> get fucked, pickle. I don't know. That's a very incredibly specific question that I do not have the answer for. Are the spine stones surgically installed or do they fit in the socket? If they are surgically... So there's like sockets installed and then the stones are in the socket. Think of like a big dermal. If anyone knows what dermals are, like the, the piercing. But your body doesn't like push it out after three years. Um. So... So they're basically, I mean, I don't, as long as they're near the spine. Oh, I was thinking of it like a dermal. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if I eat a stone for science? You're going to have a bad poop in a bit. They look like the socket Space Marines have in 40k. Let me pull that up real fast. Because maybe. Let's see here. 40k socket space marine space marine where are the whole ports where are the holes i was trying to find a picture and it just showed me a picture of a bucket of chicken what is happening ah oh, there we go like sort of but not quite as ugly grimdark if that makes sense actually yes so I never realized that this was a space marine I was looking at. My my idea for like socketing the um <laughs> this is so funny. My idea for socketing here, I'll show you guys. For socketing the stones and then also the the body, the guard system that that cools you came from this picture. And I don't know, but it was cropped. So it didn't have the space marine armor. Here, let me let me show you guys. Beast. Beast Marine. So, oh, where is it? Give me your picture. Oh. Why do you hate me? Image. Space. 
Space Marine. Okay, so the the Space Marine armor was cropped out. I didn't see that. So it was like when I found this picture, it was like this, right? I was like, oh, that's a cool idea to like socket them. And then like, this is what the cooling system looks like in my head, right? <laughs> I had no idea. It makes sense now. It really does. Space Marine. Like becoming a person with stones in their bones is a lot more invasive than swapping bone stones. It's all 40k all the way down. Deep down, we were all just making 40k from the very beginning. Oh my god. The whole time. One does not simply avoid 40k. Space Marines, if we die this day, we die in glory, but we will not die this day. It will be the enemy that dies. Metal boxes. The Black Carapace is the second skin a Space Marine, a Source Marine gets to interface with the power armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not quite like that. That's a little too high tech for my taste. You know what I mean? But like essentially, if anyone wants to have an idea of what the cooling system kind of looks like in my brain, it's like a down tech version of of that. <laughs> I If I knew it was power armor, the story would be so different. Oh my god. Careful venturing in there. So terrifying. All right. Um, right, so we covered the spine stones. Uh, we covered the wrist cuff. Is cooling system like a fursuit cooling system? You know, Buddha, you apparently have more experience with that than me because I don't know what a fursuit cooling system looks like. So, even the... <laughs> but beware, for in this realm, even the mightiest may get fucked, Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna collab on Thursday and people are gonna be like uh pickle v hates scoliosis Ugh. it's like uh it's like it's like a water cooler for your computer but it's got like a, a steam release valve on the back I need to draw it but I have a really cool picture in my head it's pretty cool not gonna lie Pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Um, yeah, different combinations don't expect, affect the users differently. So some examples, I know I talked about this a little bit, can be like, obviously you need um, stones to project the magic outward. Um, and then you can increase like your strength of your muscles for a short amount of time. Um... I don't have a lot of other ones, like, thought up because everyone I think of feels really lame. Like, like, thinking, you know, like, just thinking faster or something. I don't know. That feels lame to me. So, I haven't really thought of other things that you can make, like, that goes in your body. Is there a fella with all the types of stones? Kind of like Captain Planet. Um, I don't know. Yeah. No. Yeah. His name is Jeff, with a PH. His name is Jeff. <laughs> no, I don't think they're... I mean, it's possible that someone could have all the stones. Um, just because you have all the stones doesn't... No, it's Jeff. I think it's J-E-P-H. Captain Jeff Planet. <laughs> If you know, you know. Jeff. Jeff is a national hero. <laughs> um, But yeah, like, nothing's stopping. Like, if you have enough money, nothing's stopping you from socketing, like, all the colors. I don't know. Ah, uh, Gamma! But you spelled the name Jeff right. You spelled Jeff right. What are you doing? Um, And then the stones. So I talked about this a little bit. I don't, I'm stalling a little bit for the ad people, I'm going to be honest with you. Hello, ad people. Welcome back. I stalled a little bit for you. <laughs> so, um, the stones, because this is kind of an important bit. Um, the stones must be in contact with a blood source because they feed on calories. So, if you have stones socketed into your body, you do not have to take them back to the coil to charge them because... They feed off of what you feed off of. 
I Google the worst way to spell Jeffrey. Would a magic user need to eat comically huge meals like massive bowls of noodles and oversized turkey legs? <laughs> Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Um, they do have to eat more. I wouldn't say it's like comically large bowls of noodles, but they probably have to, like after you have a, a round in the coil, like you would have to consume some like calorie rich food, right? Yeah, like having a parasite. Like if it's hungry, you're hungry. <laughs> you must feed them. Does this world have fried chicken? I don't see why not. Mag yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of like a magic tape worm. Um, so it's not like uh, what's that dude in Naruto? Like, if he doesn't eat, he like shrivels up into like a tape, like the tapeworm. He shrivels up into like a little stick or something. It's not like that. Um, but like if you expend a bunch of energy and then for some reason you can't eat like right away. Right, you're gonna start feeling nauseous and woozy and dizzy and have a headache. You know what I mean? So fat mages would be rare. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, this is like a relatively physical uh job that they would have. So I don't think you would have a chance to get fat anyway. The stones give you the negatives of diabetes. Yeah, it's like low blood sugar all the time if you're not eating. <laughs> like you must, so like, so like people, you know, to prevent yourself, but, 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 but if they're like charged up, right? Like let's say you, you ate a big meal, you're, you're eating enough, you know, you're well fed. Tactical appy juice, let's go. <laughs> Magic eats up your calorie, that would help you thin, yeah. Everyone's <laughs> just grumpy. Um, so let's say you had a good meal, everything's good, and you don't like go into the coil, right? Like you take three weeks off, you go on vacay, right? And you don't use your joke to mech. Like it's there, right? It's in your body, but you don't like use it in like an explosive belligerent force like you would when you're fighting. Like you're not gonna have to eat as much as you would if you were like working, you know, every day in the coils, for example. Like they're still gonna take up more energy than like to keep them topped off than like someone who didn't have them, but you wouldn't need to be like constantly stuffing your face if you're not using them. Oh my God. Dang, we got two of them in one day. That never happens. Dang. It's like hiking day. You slam big meals, right? Exactly. Yeah, so if you know that you're going to be going into a fight, obviously you would want to eat well beforehand and then have, like, snacky whack afterwards. So, that being said, if you don't get enough food on a regular basis, so let's say you are in, the, like, you guys live in the Strigan District. You live with the people that are, like, pretty much experiencing the Industrial Revolution, you don't have a lot of money. You don't have a lot of nutrient-dense food. Like, you're eating saw paper bread. Right? And somehow you got a hold of Drokenmech on the black market and got it installed. So now your biggest issue you're going to have is if you're going into the coils, perhaps illegally, you have to maintain your fuel source. So you have to figure out where you're going to get food from. So, you, so then people got creative with like cheap meals that were still um, calorie dense because otherwise you would shrivel up and die eventually. So basically you would be like starving yourself slowly. Trail mix. Yeah, see Gamma knows what's up. Everyone in Strigan has trail mix on their pouches. Every no, I'm just kidding. When it's not called Strigan District, they call it trail mix district. So what does a mage eat for dinner? Depends on what's available. Um, if if uh, a canary is, you know, part of the Lucian quarters or part of the high-end rich people, they'll have their big fancy meals and everything. Um, you know, like a, a normal dish. If they are from down below, they'll have probably trail mix, <laughs> beef jerky type situations. Um, we did touch on field rations a little bit. 
last stream. Um, and I actually have something written down for that, but it's going to take me 1,200 years to find it. Um, but if you were poor, right, and somehow you found yourself in the coils and you needed to eat, you would probably stick with, like, the beef jerky and the pemmican type situations and the trail mix. If you had money, you would essentially have um, an MRE would be the easiest thing to describe it as. I miss one stream and I lose out on so much lore. I know. Um, we talked about the MRE, MRE type situation last stream where like if you have a piece of raw fish and you put it in the bag, it chemically cooks it, and you pull it out, and it's cooked, but it's the exact same temperature it was when it went into the bag. So if you had money, or you were sponsored by someone who had money, that would be, like, what you would be eating. So an FRH? Fart reheater? <laughs> porridge tastes so good after a hike so the poor boy's probably flameless ration heater yeah kind of but it doesn't get hot so it's not a heater because it comes out the same temperature it went in so if you put cold fish in it'll cook it with chemicals and then It'll come out the same. It'll come out cold. You need a rock or something from Steve MRE. I have a rock. Like a vacuum bottle then. Yeah, kind of, but without the vacuum. So if you had money, that would... So then you could have like a full meal, right? If you were like going on a long stint in the coil, you could have more of a full meal. But then like if you're poor, you kind of got to stick to snacky wax, right? carryable snacky wax because you have to be careful when you're eating in the coil right because it's covered in gas and i did i did make a thing that you can sit down and eat and i can't remember what it's called it's a thing i talked about it on a different stream canary gear oh my god it's right at top that never happens okay i have it i have it have it it's called a where is it Oh, okay, it's called a campfire. Easy enough. <laughs> um, so a campfire is a portable device made of... Oh, cool. Okay, this is old, so just, just bear with me. This is like... How old is this? I don't know. It's a couple months old. Um, a campfire is a portable device made of cool colored stones and magic metal that canaries can use to create a temporary bubble. It has a built-in quick filter system that sucks in and breaks down the magic metal fumes in the fenced-off space in under three minutes. The shield deployed by the campfire is created by a blue or purple stone, purple lasting the longest. The shield lasts 10 to 30 minutes depending on the quality of the campfire and gives the canaries a chance to rest, change out their filters, and treat minor wounds before the shield drops. Boom. So it's like a shield, like, um... Like in Helldivers 2, the shield, the bubble shield, the big one, the big yellow bubble shield that people hate. That's, that's essentially what it is. It just filters itself first, and then you can go into it. And then it keeps the gas out. So you can sit and you can eat your snacky wax. <laughs> but again, this is something that's very expensive. So like the people down below probably wouldn't have one of these. So, you know, just because it exists doesn't mean everybody has it. So if you're, if you're, um, poor, you gotta figure that out. So what was the other one that I was talking about? Oh, the, the guard cooling system. The, so this is like the cooling system I was talking about. Oh no, the rations, the rations. Okay. Well-off canaries tend to carry pouches that contain a thick, nutrient-dense broth that can be quickly consumed with minimal chewing. Those with less financial blessings have taken to mixing sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and pine nuts into a thick mixture of animal fat and peanut butter before pressing them into bars and drying them to be carried in on missions. Boom. I wrote stuff. 
Bullion cubes for the win. It's like just bullion paste that you eat. Su slurp. You slurp it up. Big slurping hours. <laughs> Big slurpy slurps. Bullion cubes for the win. It do be like that. So. Ah, it's doing the thing again. Hold on. Oh, okay. Curry in a tube. You eat it with a straw? Maybe. Yeah, I feel... You guys know like those applesauce pouches you can get from Starbucks? That's what I was thinking. Like just... <laughs> just one good... <laughs> and then you litter. Then you drop it in the coil and you litter. It's applesauce without the apple. Yeah, it's just Z-sauce. The applesauce is made for babies? They're not made for babies. You can buy them and eat them. No one's gonna stop you. You can buy it, Buddha. You can go to Starbucks and buy the applesauce pouch and nobody's gonna stop you. Those give you trauma? Do I wanna ask? They're four ounces. Oh no. Is it three ounces? Is the ounce is it three ounces? That's the limit. FYI, baby food is great stream food. What? I ain't eating baby food. 3.4, but yeah, oh, that's depressing. Well, I'm putting a chapstick. Alright, so we got we're moving on to conduits. Um, so we talked about how their bodies reject the drogdomek. Um, so they act like a wire that moves energy from the stone to an ether tongue object. Um, and then f they can move from the stones in a canary to another stone. So they can also move from one stone to another. Um, walking battery bank. They don't store the stone or they don't store the energy in themselves. They are simply a wire that moves it from one container to another container. Get that lore. B. <laughs> Thank you, Otto, for the biddies. Um, but because they are overly sensitive to the coil materials, if like they get like a leak in their gas mask, that's a really big problem because they get they get sick way faster than a normal person, right? Yeah, living extension cord. Is there a limit uh to how much they can transfer at once? That is a good question. Um I would think it would depend on, like, how much their body can handle. Uh, you're not going to be able to, like, fully... I'm trying to think if there would ever be a reason why, like... Right, because if you're pulling it from, like, a person, right? Because a person's going to have more energy in them than, like, one stone. Right? Oh, yeah. So, oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think on that and get back to you. More of a biological fiber optic cable. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, so their their bodies are sensitive, so they get like a leak in their gas mask or something. That's gonna be a really big problem because they get sick faster. Yeah, toss it into the idea command, please. So it doesn't go away. They got that suck. They do. Um, so they can imbue, like, um, arrowheads that are made out of ether tongue. They can imbue, um, like, shot that you would use for a slingshot, bullets, 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 um, small metal things. They can put energy into them. They cannot imbue, like, an entire building. Right? Like, that, that's too much. But smaller things... I thought no guns. There's arquebuses. Well, okay, arquebuses. Um, that's plot. So guns are not widely available. The canaries don't use guns. They're not widely. They do exist, but they're not like widely available to everybody everywhere. If that makes sense. It's kind of multi-directional or one way. They can go both ways. Plot bleach. Plot. I watch coils for the pot. Guns would be an elite item. They are, let's, let me think. Um, no, they're not an elite item. They are, 
I'm only going to use this because I was on Dev's stream and he was talking about it. Um, think about the V1 and the V2 rockets and how they weren't widely available, but they were still sort of being used a little bit. Maybe not the V1. Is it the V3 they used, ended up using? They're like testing phases, if that makes sense. They're still very expensive to make and they're still very difficult to use and they're not something that you can like mass produce. <laughs> they're but rare, yeah. Like you're not gonna, it's not, V3 was a giant cannon. What was, was that the one that was like a tube? What was a tube? What was just a tube? And Hitler liked it. Hitler liked the tube. Yes, there was tube. So, like, it's in military testing right now. They're not, no one's going to be walking around with guns. But they do exist, if that makes sense. Um, And they are sometimes, so conduits are sometimes known as the anti-canary canary. Because they can neutralize other canaries. Um, all the police forces have several conduits in them, just in case they do have to arrest a canary. Someone who has stroke to mech? Because obviously that would be very difficult for a normal person to handle if someone had like magical abilities. So. Yeah. They can suck the magic out of your orbs. Because if like let's say like you're 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 a striker, right? Um, if you're a striker and you're going through and you're attacking monsters, like eventually you're going to just run out of speed you're gonna run out of energy and like you're not gonna like shrivel up and die right you're not gonna like turn into the the mexican alien thingies that are like shriveled up but like you're gonna be woozy and dizzy and struggling to stand and your legs are gonna be shaky right so that's that's the feeling you would get if a conduit sucked the energy out of you it would be like all your food left your body at once so like a 40k blank sort of yeah it all comes back to 40k Sort of like a 40k blank though. Yeah, that was that was the inspo. There is is there some inspo there. Basically a sugar crash. Kind of, yeah. Conduit attacks are the effects of Taco Bell. Yeah, you even get like the stomach cramps. And the explosive diet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so moving on. Getting your fluids sucked out? Yeah, they suck out your fluids through a straw. Um, so common droke to mech are different. That is what we were building last time. Like the toasters and the ovens and the soda makers and all that stuff. So that's just, this is the stuff that's like outside of your body that like normal people can use without having to have anything installed, right? Um, they still works by different combinations of stones and metals. And, um, but the stones act more like batteries in these cases, and those do need to be charged regularly. A bio vampire? Um, so you do need to, so the stones are removable, you do need to take your stones and, like, you can take them back! Well, no, you can't technically take them back to your coil yourself. Like, you have to have licensing to get into the coil. Um, so you have to take your, your already expensive, you know, toaster, take the expensive rocks out of the expensive toaster, right? Hand them off to someone who you paid and they will take these rocks, bring them back to the coil to charge for s several days, right? So you either you, you either need to wait and not use this appliance for several days while they charge, or you need to have a second set of stones to put in your toaster so you can use it while these are charging. And then these services like will bring the stones back to you and will deliver them back to you for a, a small fee, of course. And and now and and. Now you have to keep... Spe it's a monthly subscription to energy. It's like the power company with more steps. 
The stones work off of brap gas, kinda. Um, and stones do last a while. Uh, they don't get like you know. Obviously, some stones last longer than e than other ones, and it depends on what kind of job they're doing and all that jazz. Um, but they they last a while. It's not like you're gonna have like three toasts, three pieces of toast, and you gotta recharge it. It would be like a couple weeks, I think, or like a month or so. And then yeah, and then so. Uh, one of the one of the companies I've come up with is Runacell. Will take your stones and they will take it back to the coil and they will charge them in their um, state of the art charging area, <laughs> which means they just they just bury them in the dirt and leave them <laughs> in a slightly secured area. <laughs> Good old capitalism. Have a good night, cat. Thank you for coming. Good night. Let's see here. Okay, and we're back to the beginning. So that was the whole that was the whole slideshow, you guys. We did it. We did it. We made it through the slideshow. So that is the magic system. All all cleaned up, all shined up, all put together and put in a slideshow for you guys. Stone man picks uh, up your uh, uh, and drops off the fresh magic system get. Magic system get. Thank you, Kami Sour, for the resub. The stone man picks up your used stones and drops off fresh charged stones, kind of like the school milkman. Yeah. Don't worry, V, I already forgot everything. It's okay, I have a slideshow. So it's okay. I handcrafted the slideshow over the course of four days so that you guys could have a slideshow. I did this for you. <laughs> I did this for you! But yeah, I don't know. Like, I didn't I didn't have a plan for it much more. I figured the, sh the, 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 the slideshow would take up most of the stream. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything or anything about uh, last last conversation we had about this or anything like that, I know one of you is going to ask a question that has nothing to do with anything, so please get that out of your systems. <laughs> I'm on to you. I know how you all function. Also, if you have like a question or, or an idea that you want like tracked down, please feel free to use the the task thingy. It's there. It's there for a reason. <laughs> Please use it, I swear to God. What kind of things can't be hooked up to conduits and stones? Um. Uh, I don't know if there's anything like, uh, like, it's one of those things. So there's part of it being like a community world building situation is that I don't want to put a lot of, and I know in the beginning I was kind of doing this. I was kind of being ridiculous about it, and I apologize. Um, I don't want to put a lot of like hard and fast rules like this can't be like this and this can't be like that because I'm hoping that someone will get kind of like a spark of inspiration and they will like find a way to make it work, if that makes sense. Uh, but conduits are people. They're human beings. So... Soft rule system is nice. It's like, it's like a hard, so like what I have written is a hard rule system. It's a hard magic system. Um, but I feel like hard magic systems are kind of made to be broken, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like using, using stuff in a creative way. I don't like soft magic systems because I feel like it's just too easy to be like to be like ex machina, but like um, a, a hard magic system, like you really have to think about what you need to do to like do something crazy. And I think that's where like creativity comes from. But I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like, no, like you can never, ever, ever, ever make a telephone. You know what I mean? I just, you know, if someone did make a telephone, I would just hope it would be like, they were creative about it, if that makes sense. You know, like, not just like, 
oh, like I put this rock and it powers it and then there's a wire and the voice goes down the wire and then someone else on the other side of the wire hears it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it can be better. It can be better. We ain't got game dev creative juice for a whole magic system. No, but I, I did it. I don't either and I did it. You're doing TV analog, something that can be playing in the background and see music and news and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. See? Boom. It's been used. For the wiggle room to expand on it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. There hasn't been... So, like, all the stuff people have submitted in the Discord, there hasn't been anything that was like, no, this won't work. Like, there's stuff that I might need to, like, tweak a little bit to fit, but, like, none of it's like, no way, this won't work in here at all. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's been doing really good on it. So. Eventually, I will get enough energy, and I will put together the wiki, and then I'll make the wiki available. Ugh. So the projected weapons are like conjure sword or floating one. Uh, so there is no magical projection. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I miss. I'm I read your thing wrong again, Buddha. What is it? Are like conjure sword or floating one? It's like a conjured sword, so you have to hold it in your hand. It's not. It's not like um spiritual weapon from D and D. I don't know if you know what that is. Time to crack that whip. <laughs> if I didn't have seventeen other things I was trying to do. I think I'm just going to give up on social media is really what I need to do. Just give up posting. Never post again. No one will ever see me ever again on social media. I realized today how much I hated. <laughs> more of a summon sword from Elder Scrolls. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. More like that. Um, It has to stay in your hand. Like if you throw it... Like, let's say it's in your hand, you throw it, it, it'll, like, stick to your hand. It's not, it, you can't, like, detach it from your body. But the conduits can, you know, like, they can have, like, a, a, a what's the word? Bow. Crossbow, right? And, like, enhance the bolts. And fire, you know, do a range attack that way. So there's that. There's options, depending on who you are, what you do. Yeah, no, I can't throw the magic hammer. It'll stick to your hand. Once it's in your hand, it's in your hand. Stuck to you forever. You have to go to the PP with it. You have to go PP with it. No, then I can't make fun of your Twitter and the replies. This sounds like only wins. It sounds like nothing but wins. <laughs> Social media takes up so much time. It's so ridiculous. I hate it. Yes, it's covered in gaffer tape. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I didn't cover. I think I covered pretty much everything, though. I think the change to the slingers to make them conduits is like the coolest bit ever though. Oh, one of the other little, I can give you guys a little snippet, a little snippet. Right? Um, time in the coils, and I'm only going to say this part. Time in the coils moves differently than time outside the coils. That's pretty cool, huh? Huh? Faster or slower? It's slower in the coils. But that's all I'm going to say for now. That's all I'm going to say for now. I won't say how much slower. I'll just say it's slower. Mm. I've just been struck in the face by water. Time is convoluted and the coils is true. How fast does energy travel through the conduits, though? Dang, that's such a specific question. Um, I say, like, um... 
Like, let's say you had, like, a frozen ham and you, like, pushed it down a road, but, like, it was kind of at, like, a 20-degree incline and the road was wet. Like, that fast. <laughs> How does this work for broadcasting? Um, so I explained a little, how big is the ham and how much road? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if I gave you that information, you can math it out and I don't want you to. <laughs> um, so, because otherwise that's kind of slow. I don't know. What if you gave it like a really good push though? Like what if you gave the ham a really good push? That'd be pretty fast then. 20 degrees isn't anything to shake a stick at. Um, but anyway, as far as the, <laughs> as far as the broadcasting goes, um, I explained a little bit in another stream. Um, it's basically like a hologram type situation for a semi. Yeah. Well, the ham is clearly large and in charge. Uh, the broadcasting is, they're kind of like a hologram type situation, and it's not something that, like, every house would have. Uh, there would be, like, one in, like, a couple meeting areas or, like, high-profile areas. Yeah, like Blitzball. God, Buddha. Ah, oh, yes, like Blitzball. Every time is about 10 pounds, that angle, give or take it. Felt. See, that's pretty fast. 80 miles per hour is pretty fast for ham. Yeah, or like, um, I'm trying to think of like how, so up above in the losing quarters where people have lots of money, the fancier cafes might have something, but they were, these things are like relatively on the larger side. Um, but they're not like tiny, like you're not going to, like they'd be bigger than TVs, like old TVs. Not like like ninety inch flat screen TVs nowadays. How more of how time differences affect it? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, who knows? Who who knows? Does anyone really? Does anyone care? Does anyone care to keep track? Right. Will it be like Coliseum event? Yes, actually, I have several of those type of situations planned. No, 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 no. I mean, like, right, it's like live TV. As a math nerd, I do. Oh my god, you guys are murdering me right now. You're murdering me. It's like, like, let's say you're watching a soccer event from the other side of the world. Does it matter to you if the soccer event is five minutes behind or if it's ten minutes behind? Like at the end of the day. Right? It wouldn't be something like your guys are making me answer the question I didn't want to answer. You guys are sneaky. Sneaky. It wouldn't be like days later. Like you wouldn't lose that. But it would be, for example, I don't like sports. Well, that's just too fucking bad, Neon. <laughs> that's the example I used. <laughs> Salt. But, yeah, no, I mean, you wouldn't, like, like, it wouldn't be, like, days or behind or anything like that. Like, there would be a delay, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, like, um, like, weeks or anything like that or months or anything, like, insane like that. If that makes sense. Because it would, I mean, there'd be a delay anyway, because you have to get it out, you have to get the signal out of the coil and to, to people. Right? Noticeable but negligible then. I mean, if you're watching from the outside, right, like, it's not like you know where the, where they are anyway, in the coil. Like, there's no frame of reference. Could be like content warning when they gotta get the footage back. I haven't played it! I wanna- I'm playing it on Thursday. I'm really excited. But yes, maybe. Could be. They gotta make it out alive with the content. 
Can't make it out alive. Someone does a flip to attack Debra for the gram and they get murdered in the process. <laughs> Hi, my name is Steve. I'm alive in the coils, and this is Jackass. Here comes Debra to ruin your day. But yeah. Yeah, so like there's, yeah, it's not like, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to repeat myself anymore. Wait, who's Debra? <gasps> he doesn't know about Debra. Debra is a monster. Debra is a Diabora, which is a giant. Um, he is a giant snake creature with buff man arms and is also the receptionist of the coils. <laughs> yup. I remember it loosely. She wicked fast at typing. Yeah, she's got she's got them fingies, man. She got them clawed fingies. Well, Deborah's a man. Is a man snake. Not a lady snake, but a man snake, if you will. But he still got them fingies. He got them claw fingies. But yeah, I think if no one else I mean I'll get I'll open it up to any more questions. This is your last warning for questions. You got if you got one, drop it like it's hot. I'm waiting. The chat delay is murdering me right now. <laughs> I feel like I laid out... Does anyone feel like the magic system is lacking? Like, are you lacking in magic system knowledge at this point? What are your thoughts on the Warhammer drama currently occurring? Are they being told they have to take showers? Is that the problem? That was the mom that inspired that art they tossed in the common area. Oh, you tossed art in the common area? Color variance based on power capacity? Um, of the monsters? Or the, or the, or the stones? Um, originally the stones were going to have power variations based on their colors. I think we're going to drop that because it felt hokey to me. I wasn't like super in love with the idea. Um, so I think just they're each going to do something slightly different. Which is the fake. When is there not Warhammer controversy? Rev has a point though. Magic system seems like just summon weapon, enchant weapons, or drain magic. Sort of, yeah. It's 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 pretty basic on purpose. It's it's uh one of those like keep it it's like simple, but actually was really complicated to write that. Do mage bloodlines play into it? So that's a good question. I will get yours too, Neko, don't worry. Um yes and no. Um much in the way of like blue eyes do if you have a history of um joke to mech users your chances of being able to use and not get um rejected from using joke to mech is good um conduits tend to have people in their family that were also conduits and that sort of deal Um, so like, and then like people that tend to not, you know, not be able to use joke to mech tend to also give birth to people that aren't, so it's not like, it's not like a powerful bloodline. However, that being said, uh, the rich people like you to think that, um, you know, cause they have all these resources and money and they have the best gear and look how powerful my son is. And he came from my loins and I'm a powerful business owner or, or owner order powerful business owner and and that is the fruit of my loins and buy my stuff you know sort of situation all right all right all right all right all right, all right. we still need a way for mages to be more powerful are they better at using their stones so they just get better stones oh right okay no that's a really good point that's kind of important 
Um, I talked about that powerful business owner. <laughs> War Warhammer 40k in a nutshell. Um, that's like Rogue Trader. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm really tired, so I'm getting a little unhinged. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, I addressed this, like, a year ago. So, this is probably going to be a refresher for a lot of people and new for a lot of other people. Little... Um, so basically how one becomes more powerful with your Droke to Mech is you have to become in tune with your soul, quote unquote. So there's two ways of doing that. There's your standard normal person way of doing that, which is like through training and self-reflection and, you know, being physically fit and eating well and like, you know, all that standard proper body stuff, right? Or, or, you can go through a shit ton of trauma and not break as a human being, not snap. And then you also, it's like a fast track, but you have to go through trauma. So much trauma. <laughs> so, yeah, either, either willpower, got it, yeah, essentially. So, you have to increase your willpower. Normal people will train. <laughs> so, yeah, that is how you become stronger. Uh, Iron-blooded orphan. You guys make me so sad when you do that. You know that? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I came up with this idea. And they're like, oh, yeah, this thing that, that you stole this from. Ego death for power leveling. Woo! I promise you guys, a lot of these ideas came to me in a vacuum. I I consume very little media. <laughs> I did watch Iron Blooded Orphans though. Just take the stuff you like. That's what I've been doing. It's true. It's very true. Great minds think alike. But yeah, so basically, um you either do like normal people training stuff or you or you have, like, the worst life imaginable. You know, it's, like, either or. It's not, like, a big deal. Like, they're both sort of the same, you know? It's pretty, like, one side or the other, you know? Alter it till it's legally distinct and run with it. <laughs> That's really booly. No idea if the show tied in or not. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't... I don't think they necessarily got stronger, but they did go through a significant amount of trauma. I mean, in IBO, they just got a large concentration of people with implant tolerance by using a shitload of orphans. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I could do cardio today or just get mugged in an alley. Yeah. So it kind of reminds me of uh, Fate, the one episode of, like, Fate that I saw where, like, they threw the little girl in the worm pit. And then I stopped watching Fate after that. It kind of made me think of that. Star Wars has lightsaber Gundam, has beam saber similar, but legally different. It's true. That's true. That's beam saber. Well, the beam saber looks cooler than the lightsaber, though. I'm just saying. For real, for real. Just saying. I stopped watching Fate after that. Yeah, as soon as they threw the little girl in the worm pit, I was done. Turned that episode off right away. I was like, okay, we're done here. We're done with that. I don't even remember which Fate that was. I don't, I don't think it was, uh, is that zero? Did they do that in zero? No. I don't know. I don't even know which one it was. Ultimate Blade Works, really? Listen here, I never started to play, I just play FGO like a sucker. I have fluorescent light fights. Yeah! I too like to pick up the glass tube lights and swing them around at people. <laughs> Yeah, that's just Sakura's normal backstory. It's true. Yeah. So. Yeah, you could just go for a run and then also get mugged in the alley. It has to be it has to be significant enough that you like face some kind of struggle and then you have to overcome the struggle, right? Time for the worm bit. <laughs> no, I don't want to think about the worm pit. It was so messed up. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm not a fan. Not even a little bit. No fan of that here. 
All right. Anyone else got any other questions? <laughs> Made me eat beans on stream. I got that MRE in the mail. I just have to set up a time to eat it. Because I can't just impulse. I just can't impulse do it. I have to plan it out for three weeks ahead of time because I'm like that. Soon TM. Instant joke to make power user. Yeah. Like I would say. Um, but then okay, so here's the other thing, right? After watching FMA's Camera scene. It's uh Mexican beef no, 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 no. It's Mexican rice and beans. I'm not eating it now. I want to live. Um, I will say that like the country that the story takes place, I will big set. Thank you, Tuna. Um, the country that, like, the story takes place in, right, um, like, they have laws. So, you can't just, like, go around torturing people legally. So, just, just to make that clear, um, the torture, the torture trauma route isn't, uh, isn't standard practice most of the time. It's mostly training and, uh, going for runs and... And, and nonsense. <laughs> so, you know, before you guys get a little too excited about the trauma nonsense. Yeah, so it's not, it's not necessarily about stones. It's about what you do with oneself. A <laughs> toilet seat was up when I sat, so now I'm a conduit. You got rejected by the toilet. Oh my god. I still want to make, like, a toilet joke to Meg. I just... I don't know. I don't know how yet. Which one's the easy way? I mean, like, it depends what you think is easy. Traumatizing yourself to significant amounts of thing and then, you know, mentally coming back from that technically gets you stronger faster, depending on how fast you can come back from trauma. Um, but you could also, you know, mentally break and all that stuff. Traumatized children are easy to make. That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. What the fuck? Toilet tech could be like a space station toilet with just with air pressure. No. No. We're going to get air injected poop. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants air injected poop. That's not something we want. Something we have. But it's not something we want. Don't line up the valve wrong. No. Break has wasted my ethics. Don't blame me. Brutal. Time to update. C Commissar, you son of a bitch. I now understand. This cesspit's less an upgrade. Whole ass submarine saying that way? No. Gong pit hours. Not the gong pit. Anything but the gong pit. No. My god. Your peasants are dying of disease, my lord. <laughs> Alright. Well, okay. I'm going to do one more call for questions. Otherwise, I think we're going to call it a night. Um, does anyone have any suggestions for raids? I can't really stay because I'm EB, but if someone has a suggestion for a raid, otherwise we can raid someone else. I'm happy to take a suggestion. Tuna. I already raided Tuna recently. So I think, I think I kind of want to spread the love. You know what I mean? Comfy art day. Okay, if we can't, we'll, we'll, if we can't find him, we'll, we'll raid. Fuck that guy. We will raid, um. We will raid Coco Bun VT. He is streaming art. We got an artist. Raid. Uh, Coco Bun VT. Go, go, go. It looks like very cute, comfy art. So, we'll go from one sleepy stream to another sleepy stream. 
Thank you guys so much for coming. I will see you tomorrow morning. I am streaming. We'll be doing a Zatsudan. So we'll just be rambling about everything going on and, and everything else. So um, I will see you guys there. 10 a.m. Eastern morning stream. Bring your Kofefi. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.